said. Higher fees and more of them, that's what's most likely coming to a bank near you. But one customer is not just complaining, she is taking action. Joining me now is Molly Catchpole, a now former Bank of America customer. Welcome, Molly. Thank you. How are you doing, Carol? I'm doing great. So you had a checking and a savings account with Bank of America, and when you heard about that $5 debit card fee, you said enough. Why? Yeah. Um, it's because, you know, I'm 22 years old, uh, I work two part-time jobs, and I don't have $60 a year to give to Bank of America, and I knew that thousands of Americans would feel the same way. So you started this online petition a week ago. This morning, mm -hmm. we checked, it has close to 200,000 signatures now. Mm -hmm. Did you expect anything like this? You know, I'm not surprised by it at all. I mean, given the mood of our country right now, I think people are ready to sign on and make change happen. So you marched into a Washington, D.C. branch of Bank of America, and you presented mm -hmm. them with 152,000 signatures. Yes. What was the bank's reaction? They didn't really have a lot of a reaction. Um, I think they were a little bit taken aback. But it was kind of just a normal transaction. I went in, I gave them the petitions, uh, and then I closed my bank account, and that was kind of it. Did, didn't you want more? I mean, didn't, didn't you think somebody would say something like, oh, we're really sorry, and, and thanks for this petition, and we'll send them straight up to the CEO? I know, I know. Well, I, I was hoping for that. I had my fingers crossed, but, you know, I, I was trying to be realistic about it, and, you know, that didn't happen, but, you know, that's all right. I think, th I think they'll get there. Uh, do you think that the people who signed your online petition are Bank of America customers, and do you think they will leave the bank? I think most of them are, absolutely, and I think thousands of people have left the bank already. So, so Bank of America it didn't have a comment specifically on your petition, but the, the bank's CEO, Brian Moynihan, told CNBC that customers like you should just understand that the bank has a right to make a profit. I mean, Bank of America lost money last year, so... They have a right to make a profit. They're a private company. They have to make up the money somewhere. When you hear that from Mr. Moynihan, what do you think? I think that people also have a right to stand up for what they believe in and try to make change happen. Okay, so you did that. You cut up your credit cards. You closed your accounts at Bank of America. Where are you taking your business? I'll probably take it to a credit union. I need to do a little bit of research first, but that's looking like the direction I'll head in. I think the most interesting part of, of your story, you're working two jobs, you're working really hard, but by taking action mm -hmm. against Bank of America and coming up with this online petition, you discovered a new passion. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've already, you know, I've always been kind of an activist, uh, and this was just a really exciting, awesome way to kind of channel that energy. <laughs> okay, so if people want to sign your petition, give us your website. They go to change.org. It's a wonderful pl uh, platform for petitions, and it's right there on the front page. All right, Molly Catchpole, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. <laughs> she said she was